they say Jesus come like a thief in the night. I ain't met the no Patrice Woodbine. I can cut you out. Episode four of P Valley left us on a cliffhanger with my girl, that Mercedes, getting the rug pulled right from underneath her feet. Her damn mama pulled a banana in the tailpipe, took her money, and then took the spot she was gonna use for a dance studio to try to become a damn televangelist church. What in the world? Well, this is the trailer review for episode five that's coming this Sunday. A lot of clues in this trailer. We're gonna break them all down right now. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to this channel. Be sure to catch me and the fellas live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday night at 9 p.m. We discuss TV shows, we discuss stocks, and if you haven't already found a brokerage to get invested in stocks, download my link for Robinhood, and also follow me on Instagram. Whenever there's TV shows you love and you want me to do reviews for them, if I can find the time, send me a message on the gram. Let's check out the rest of this trailer, then we'll break it down piece by piece. It's gonna act like nothing happened last night. Me and you ain't men for the outside. Is the bills, there? That's it. Sure, that's it. What would you do if somebody took all your money? Kill him. Very first trailer, we see our girl locked up in jail. And ladies and gentlemen, when you go to jail like that, they don't give you no clothes. I mean, this girl is damn near halfway naked. It's probably cold as hell in that jail, all that steel, and they can't get that chick no clothes. You see the police officer probably having a good ass time arresting her. I'm sure he might even had a little Woody trying to take her in. Did you see her in a jail cell next to her mom just giving her the bad mouth? Did you see her in her mom's face, man? I mean, what that mom done was wretched and dirty, but you guys know that these stories happen so often parents stealing kids social security number to use for credit cards and identity theft so i know that's just got to be devastating to her she's probably gonna have to wind up back stripping then we see uncle clifford in the club with his pearls pearl hair color next to the mayor and we know that, that mayor ain't about three cents but what is the real deal connection between him and uncle clifford haven't really revealed that as of yet, but you know it's got to be something crooked. Then the next scene we see Little Murder, as opposed to Big Murder, talking to Uncle Clifford and basically just wanting to know, okay, when are we going to go live with this relationship? And that is actually a big move on Little Murder's part because a lot of us have been calling him a little bitch ass because he's keeping this thing in the closet. If you really like this, just be a man, step up to the plate, let everybody know you is like this. And apparently he is like that. And you can see, boy, whatever he done to Uncle Clifford put his ass to sleep. Laying here in the bed, ring finger on and all that. And he basically said, Uncle Clifford, when are we going to go live? Uncle Clifford's like, I ain't trying to hear that. Which makes you wonder, why is Uncle Clifford not trying to hear that? Would this mess up Uncle Clifford's image? Um, Uncle Clifford got some more folks out there or does Uncle Clifford for whatever the reason need to have the allure that he's single and free for whatever the reason. Next clip we start to hear our girl Mississippi's voice and you see her going up the pole. Nobody goes up a pole like M.I. Crooked Letter Crooked Letter starting to become one of my favorite characters. You see her talking to someone. This is the biggest reveal for me for this trailer because a lot of you all speculated that her baby daddy was a white guy. And here's this clown right here. Now, doesn't he look like the type that would beat a woman? He looks like a puss ball that would put his hands on a woman, but he don't know if this is the, the baby daddy and he been putting his hands on that crooked letter. There is a diamond in the rough that's gonna be coming for his ass. Next clip, you just see her swinging down the pole and you see him basically grilling her on why she likes to strip so much. And she's basically saying it's good money in it. And I think she also uses it as an escape to get away from his punk ass if he's the one that's been beating her. Last clip, you hear our girl Gidget talking to Autumn Knight about what would she do if your parent took your money like that. And crazy ass Autumn Knight says, I would kill him. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I do think Autumn Knight would kill someone. She hasn't proven to be a killer, but she is just so mentally disturbed. 
she kind of reminds me of Harley Quinn, only a black version, in this instead of a superhero movie. Her ass is demented and crazy, and I don't doubt that she would try to do that, and for all we know, in her backstory, she might have done that to the husband, which is why she knows so much about business. But leave me all your comments about this trailer, what you think is going to happen in episode 5 coming up. I like the story. I know some of you guys have cringed about some of the things they've done with the love scenes and the male love scenes. But nonetheless, there's a good story brewing, and I'm here for it. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe, get yourself that life gain. Follow me on Instagram. Shoot me messages over there. Be sure to get investing, ladies and gentlemen. Don't let this time right now with coronavirus be the opportunity. You should have took advantage of buying all these stocks when they were low price so that five years from now you can be saying, I'm glad I listened to that Lamont Tyson and got my life gain. And be sure to catch us live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday night as we talk about stocks, Marvel movies, and TV shows. And until that next Sex Is Hell video, I'll see you.